Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Tarot Dreamer. Um, so these are the monthly readings for April and these are my tarot readings using the Lightseer's tarot deck here and we've also got our Kipper cards and our Angel message cards uh, at the end. So if you could have your yes and no question ready, your timing question and I'll also give you your Angel message for April. So this is for April 2023 and this is for our sign of Sagittarius. So this is for our lovely Sagis, and these are my in-depth monthly readings, guys. Okay, I hope everyone's doing good. It's a new month, so let's see what it holds for our lovely Sagittarians. If you could like, comment, subscribe, guys, as well. And we're nearly at 300 subscribers now, so it would be fantastic if uh, we can get to 300 over the weekend. Um, that would be fantastic. Okay, and our first card out for our Sagis is the Death and Rebirth card. Okay, the Death and Rebirth of Major Arcana there. And the Four of Cups. Okay, the Four of Cups. It's for Sagittarius. For the month of April, Sagittarius for the month of April, please. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles. This is for Sagittarius for the month of April, please. Sagittarius for the month of April. The Fool card. Okay, the Fool. Mm. Okay, two more cards. Wow. The Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups there. And the final card, the Seven of Pentacles. And the energy on the bottom of this deck is... We've got the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups there. Okay, give me a moment, guys, to have a look at this. To have a look at the cards, the energy, and we'll get back into your reading. I want to make sure they're all in focus for you guys. Okay. Okay, I don't know if you've picked up on this. Probably, if you're not into tarot, you haven't. But this is quite amazing. This the cards that I've pulled totally at random here, <clears throat> because we've got a major arcana here of the death card, death and rebirth in this deck, and directly underneath that is the full card, which is new beginnings. This is the closing of a cycle here. On the start of something new underneath. But then we've got the Four of Cups here, which is boredom, a lack of motivation, maybe lack of direction, followed by the Knight of Cups here, which is someone coming in, offering you their love, their affection. And then we've got here the Eight of Pentacles, which is somebody working hard in their career, in their work life. To to gain more knowledge, um, to get more money. And directly under the Eight of Pentacles, we've got the Seven of Pentacles, which is someone just about to grow and start their money, their income, their journey, their new idea. So straight away, I can tell you that this reading is about... It, from an emotional point of view, it's closing a chapter in your life here with this card. This is very significant for you, Saji, because I feel that you've been in a cycle for a long time now. 
where it constantly feels like you're going round and round in circles. It's like Groundhog Day. And this has been, could be for a decade or more. Nothing's changed. Despite of where you've put your time and your effort, you've been stuck. And I'm really surprised actually that the hangman isn't here. But you've been stuck in this, this energy. And we can see it with this card here with the Four of Cups. It's like stagnation. You haven't been able to just move on. It's, it's, it's like you, you've been walking in through mud. And everyone else seems to be getting on with their lives and being able to seem like they're moving forward in their lives. And you feel like you've just been stuck in a rut. And you've been working to get your way out of it. And this is changing now with April and with this card here, the death and rebirth card. Your old life is going and you're being reborn into this. You're being reborn into the full card here. Someone is going to take a leap of faith here. And I feel it's somebody that is going to take a leap of faith towards you. With this card here, the Knight of Cups. Now, if they're brave enough to do that, because this card is the full card, it's someone who doesn't think before they leap they just go for it here with the fall you see that lady there she's leaning in about to literally jump into the flower of life there and i have a feeling it's this person that's coming towards you here because they want to build with you they want to take you out of the learning phase that you're in now and put all that hard work into action. They want to build with you here. Now I have a feeling that you know this person and it could be that you're dealing with a Scorpio here. It could be a Virgo. But a Scorpio could also be a Cancer and Pisces, but with the Death card, this is the Scorpio card for me. And it's as if this person that you're dealing with is literally having a death and rebirth experience. They could even be wanting to leave their old life behind. Because they're indeed bored of it. And they've been working behind the scenes in order to be able to come forward and show you how much they truly feel for you here. And indeed start to build a new relationship with you. I have a feeling you know this person and you could have been in a relationship with them before. And it's that feeling of second time around kind of thing. There's been some kind of block here with this person. But they're coming in as the Knight of Cups. They're coming in gently. They're not going to bombard you, but they're gently going to show you their love, their feelings, their true feelings of how they truly feel about you. But I feel with this Knight of Cups being under the Four of Cups, I've got an awful feeling that you've got bored waiting here. You're fed up and I don't know if it's too late. 
it could be too late for this person with the queen of cups underneath this is someone that you feel deeply in love with i feel here but in the past they didn't offer you much but now i think yeah, they're going to be offering you everything with the ten of pentacles and this is someone we've got the king of cups underneath here which goes with the queen of cups here this person is now going to be showing you their true feelings, finally. And if they don't, you could be walking away from this person for good. Because underneath the Eight of Cups, we've got the Ten of Swords here. And if we keep going, because the cards are telling the story here, You've given this person a message of, I'm okay by myself, thank you very much. I can do this by myself. I don't need you. I wanted you, but I don't need you. But this person can't let you go with the Four of Pentacles. They're holding you close to their heart here. I don't want to let you go, Sag. And underneath that we have the Emperor. So this could have been someone who's very stubborn in their ways. Could have even been a game player here with the chess piece. Very strategic person here, planning their way back to you. But there's a whole new start coming here with the Wheel of Fortune. The wheel is finally turning in your favour. It's as if this relationship is destined but what I will say is that it's not going to be easy because there are, there could be competition in this. There could be somebody else here with the Five of Wands. But there is a happily ever after here with the Ten of Cups. It's just going to take some time to get there. Let's pull some clarifiers on this. And see what else we can find out here. Because I feel that somebody could be coming back from your past. But you could have a new person in your future waiting to come in. Um, we've got full false person there that's come straight out of the deck while I was shuffling. This isn't what we wanted to see here. But I have a feeling this person has been wearing a mask. And now maybe you're going to find out who they truly are. Let's put that on the death card. And let's clarify the Knight of Cups. Let's clarify the Knight of Cups. Let's clarify the Knight of Cups, please. There's too many cards. We'll go with the one that's actually on the Knight of Cups. And what's this? You're going to be hearing from this person. They're going to be in touch. They're going to contact you through text, through email, through WhatsApp, through Facebook. They're going to be contacting you here. The only thing I would say about this reading so far is this false person. Maybe don't fall straight away for what this person says to you. Let's clarify the fall, please. Let's clarify the fall card, please. Journey, they're coming towards you. This person, without a doubt, is coming towards you here. Mm. is it time that they revealed their true self behind the mask hiding their feelings let's clarify the four of cups please let's 
clarify the four of cups great fortune and the bottom of the deck is change guys there's definitely change here it could be change of where you're living this person could be coming to live near you you could be moving in with with each other but there is there's definitely change here and it's you'll be got you're going to be this person is going to bring you out of this into this sorry for the noise there guys but yeah this person is going to bring you out of feeling stuck but you've got to make sure that they're being honest with you and honest about the way they feel and if they are leaving somebody else behind that they're doing that completely and they're not bringing you into another third party situation But I can see that they are going to be bringing you out of and into a whole new lifestyle here. So this is quite exciting. And they could live at a distance to you as well. But they're definitely coming in. And they're going to be expressing themselves. And with the, the King of Cups, as I was pulling from the deck there, I think it's time that they were honest with you. And I think that's what you're going to find. They're going to actually be telling you how they truly feel about you. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that reading. Now, let's go on to your angel messages. So we're going to be picking a yes and no card, uh, a timing question, and your angel message for April. So guys, if you could like, comment, subscribe. Uh, it all helps my channel to grow. We're nearly at 300. Let's just get there at 300. And um, yeah, thank you to all the... Uh, all the people that have subscribed so far it does help me to connect with you through uh, my future readings as well and like i said once we reach 777 subscribers i will be doing a reading just like this a full tarot in-depth reading but it will be based on purely love and romance and relationships and with a slight twist be slightly different to these readings so um, if you'd like to see those please do subscribe it is for free and uh, it does help my channel. Okay, so get ready with your yes and no question. Your timing question. And let's see what the angels have got for you this month, in the month of April. Okay, so your yes and no question is choose a new direction choose a new direction okay and the timing question is wait mm. and your angel message is the situation will improve so it's saying choose a new direction and this could be where the choice comes in where this person comes back into your life and you're going to have to choose a new direction with this person here. But it's asking you to wait and the situation will improve. Okay guys, I'm going to leave it there and I hope you've enjoyed your reading. And as always guys, always believe in yourself, follow your dreams and stay blessed.